What the hell? What are you doing? I'm doing my workout. What's Why are you so close to me? I'm working out, minding my business. Are, are you okay? Are you okay? This is ridiculous. Oops. What the hell? Why are you so close to me? What the? Get I'm doing my workout. What happened? You're being so thirsty. Ugh. Oh my god. What the hell? Why are you sitting right here? I'm doing my workout. You're so close to me. This is crazy. You're so thirsty. So I'm in here at Planet Fitness with this bottle and Miss Ashley does not want to allow me to work out because she says my bottle will not fit into her cup holder. Jim Karen gets mad at weightlifter for dropping the weights. Yep, 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 yep. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. That's what we need at the gym, a thought alarm to go off whenever females are trying to thirst trap or are acting like thoughts. Thought be gone. So well, I just got dress coded at Planet Fitness. I went to sign up for a membership. The manager told me that I couldn't wear my shirt. So I asked for a copy of the dress code. She couldn't really give me one. And I refused to sign and I walked out. You want to see what my shirt says? If you can't read the cursive writing, it spells out B-I-T-C-H. This thought is a walking red flag, as if that's not enough, she has a nose ring, tats, and a Karen haircut. If any female calls herself a female dog, she's low quality. Believe people when they tell you who they are. Usually, they do it subconsciously. You'd think the average normal person would view themselves in the best light or at least project themselves to the world the best version of who they are. But not some 304s. Why? Because there's always simps willing to overlook those massive red flags just to get the used box. Remember, simps will put females on a pedestal above everything else. As I've said many times, the worst thing for a female in the feminist West is to be born attractive because it incubates her entitlement and fosters her bad behavior but having ugly looks can create problems as well. I was so uncomfortable. Um, but, so I finally get around to my set. Now I want you to notice he's looking around everywhere. Make sure nobody's looking. He has his phone in his hand. Mm -hmm. And just briefly, after he walks through, you can see that he's going to lift his camera up. He's going to take a quick snapchat. With the fin yep, with the finger, put it right back down. When I was not looking, of course, because that's what predators do. Fucking creep. And I am so glad that I did not see you do this, because if I did, I'd be in jail and you'd be in the hospital, bitch. This is one of the worst videos I've ever had to do. Women are absolutely victims of harassment in the gym, but you are not one of them. This man is not taking a photo of you which everyone in the comments, men and women, seems to get but you. It looks to me like he lifts his phone up slightly to use facial recognition to unlock it. Not to mention his finger is literally over the camera lens and at that angle, he'd be taking a photo of the ground, not you. 
Then you go and you threaten this man. You call him a predator and you share the location of his gym? Really? This gym choose fitness should kick your ass out. And that man, if possible, should press charges against you. You need to do better. Mind your own business. It's always the ugliest females who constantly try to prove that guys want them. So they'll do outlandish stunts like this because her camera shows more of the gym than actually her. Does this feminist own a mirror? Because she looks like a man. And the fact that she was so quick to threaten him just proves why she's single. And I bet she uses her woman status if a man were to defend himself from her attacks. Just remember, if she gets out of hand and starts swinging, unless if you have it recorded, the police will arrest you, the male, by default. Luckily for most men, the bald head scares them away. But there are very attractive females who have the same personality as this G.I. Jane, and you wouldn't know better until the PMS shitstorm hits you. Johnny Depp learned the hard way when he dated Amber Heard, and if he didn't record any of her behavior, no one would believe him. Just remember that. That's the only reason why he won, because the evidence was too obvious to ignore. No one is looking at G.I. Jane. She's got no ass and a fat head. Another comment points out, I'm sorry G.I. Jane, but aren't you filming half of the gym too? And this is why I think she was fishing for this type of situation, to prove to the whole world that someone wants her badly enough. This is the badge of honor for most feminists. Not her recording him, and accusing him of recording her. Let's just say he did take a picture of her, she recorded him without his consent the whole time. That's one second versus five minutes. This just proves why filming in gyms should be banned. And there's an update to the situation. He's going to lift his camera up. He's going to take a quick Snapchat with the, fin yep, with the finger and put it right back down. When I was not looking, of course, because that's what predators do. Just want to give an update from this video the other day where this woman falsely accused this man of taking a photo of her at the gym, then proceeds to call him a predator and even threatens to put him in the hospital. Luckily, a friend of his that serves with him in the Navy recognized him and reached out to me. He let me know that this man doesn't even have Instagram. He only has Facebook. So we sent him the video. He was very, very upset by this and explained that he wasn't taking a photo of her. He was actually taking a screenshot to send to his wife, who was also very, very upset which actually makes sense because if you watch the video, you can see his middle finger and thumb actually squeeze the phone. I let him know that if he wanted to take legal action that one of my lawyers, Shaheen Namui, would handle it for him. He said he would let me know. Also spoke to this gym, Choose Fitness. They were incredible. They immediately removed this woman from the gym, rightly so, and they gave this man a free gym membership. So hats off to them. To this young woman, I hope you have it in you to apologize to that man. If not, I hope he does press charges. You need to do better. Mind your own business. Finally, some justice in this world. Big props to the company to actually hold a modern woman accountable and do the right thing. But this is the feminist world us men have to live in. Not only do these females have no respect for men, they're outright hostile against us. They have no problem destroying a man's reputation if it makes them feel better or empowered. I hope the man sues for all she's worth. These females need to understand there's consequences for their actions, especially when they're so quick to use strong language which degraded the man's character. The apology has to be as loud as the disrespect. She put her account on private, and I'm sure she still thinks she's in the right. Matter of fact, her finally facing the consequences of her actions has probably convinced her that she's oppressed by the patriarchy, which is called a confirmation bias. These feminists are conditioned from day one that they're the victim and if they really have mental problems, the man-hating feminist dogma supercharges the delusion. I got kicked out of my gym. Yes, it was because of this TikTok. And at this point, I don't want to go into the details of everything that's gone on for the last year. I do, however, want to express how I feel. For the past year, I have felt belittled, bullied, like I was treated in a demeaning way. I have cried more times than I can count, and my coach can attest to this, and then like I didn't exist until it was valuable for me to exist, all the while promoting the gym the entire time for free. I'm not saying this to start something. I am saying this to express how I feel and why I feel relieved that the decision was just taken out of my hands. I have been struggling with the decision to leave for months. I have the best community there. I love my people there, but it feels like a weight is off my chest. I didn't get screamed at. And I have some really exciting things happening that I can't tell yet. So this day has definitely not been a wash. 
and on to better things. So this thought acts like a clown online, representing a company, and is surprised no one takes her seriously and everyone treats her like she's a clown. Part of being famous is being trolled and heckled. She wasn't on social media privately, and all of a sudden was bombarded by online harassment. Yep, that's how she's acting. The bull ring on her nose, aka the feminist dress code, just gives away the fact that she's a low-value female who's addicted to DNA. Dick and attention. And as usual, these women see the consequences of their actions as happening for a reason, like they have a mystical destiny. Like their life is some type of movie journey. It's more like it's proof why she can't get a man that she values. Let's just say it's her and another female in the running for a high-value man. Both are equally good looking, but the other chick is quiet and her social media profiles are on private. While this one has a history of causing problems which is documented on the internet, the high value guy will choose the quiet chick 10 out of 10 times. Not only is she causing problems an indicator of being hard to deal with and a headache, but it also says she's looking for male attention. Acting out outlandishly is the Batman signal for wanting to get dicked down by Chad and Tyrone. Let's see what the commenters think. A female comments, bullying a paying customer and then kick them out because they call you out for it? The audacity, their loss. And what a shocker. These modern women see themselves as victims by default no matter how bad they act. A customer acting out at a gym is saying that the gym allows that type of behavior, which will scare off potential customers and the old ones who don't want to be caught up in the buffoonery. Yes, so proud of you and what you'll do next. And this is why social media has ruined women, because they cheer each other's bad behavior. I was acting like a clown something anyone should be proud of. All the serious men will put her in the fun category for the rest of her life, and future employers won't even consider to hire her. Finally, someone with some sense. 9 out of 10 times, if a whole group of people are ostracizing you, you most likely deserve it. Exactly, and I'm pretty sure she'll claim that all of her exes were the problem as well. It's no coincidence she's not married or close to something serious. So I have a gym enemy now. Never can I find a, a gym boyfriend or a gym crush. It's got to be a gym bitch. Um, she made a little snide comment um, about what I had on today, which was a men's extra large t-shirt, spandex shorts. They came to my fingertips and tube socks. The fuck is wrong with that? She had on a sports bra and leggings, which you're not supposed to wear. No, you're not supposed to wear revealing things at the gym. You're supposed to be like everybody's body's comfortable man fuck you bitch i probably was here an hour longer than she was she probably like ran on the treadmill for like three minutes and like bounced so she could say she went to the gym mm -mm. queen i burnt like 700 calories 800 calories today like it's never enough what you do is never enough someone's always gonna even when you do the right thing bitches that's hilarious, and it just proves that modern women are the problem. Weird how you never see a bunch of videos of men having a problem with other men, and this is why Curves, the women-only gym, went out of business, because of the female pettiness. When there are no men to gaslight or blame anything on, usually the ugliest feminists will complain about the attractive women because they're simply jealous. Many post walls hate younger women because of envy, because they knew these females are living life on easy mode. Even if these young thoughts go bankrupt, there will always be a man who will simp and bail them out. And so it disproves females being oppressed in the West. As for this feminist complaining in the video, it's hard to know if she wasn't jealous of the female in the first place. She could have given her a nasty look without knowing it. Ooh. When a guy would rather watch you get crushed underneath a barbell than be seen as a gym creep. Nah, nah, it's a stitch up. I'm not a gym creep. I ain't going anywhere near it, it's a trap. I have two cents.
joke. I'm cancelled now all over the internet. People spitting at me on the street. <laughs> Yes, guys would rather play it safe than sorry, especially if there's a camera recording. We don't know if it's a prank or if we actually do decide to help, she'll edit the footage to make herself look like the victim. Besides, why are these females entitled to men's help when they don't even want guys to look at them for a microsecond? They say all the time that men aren't entitled to the bedroom fun, so why should a guy risk his own neck for a thought who wouldn't even piss on him if he was on fire? Men today who see a thought struggling celebrate because it could be one less 304 they have to deal with. If you modern women want help at the gym, either hire a personal trainer or get a man. That's the benefits of having a man, is that he'll spot you personally. But I forgot, and you can't have your HOE phase. It was at this moment he knew he fucked up. So, yesterday I was kicked out of the gym. Planet Fitness, to be specific. These people, they don't allow Crocs in the gym. So, me, I'm over there, like, going to uh, check in, minding my own business, like, you know, walking in in my Crocs. And they're like, oh, you cannot enter in Crocs. The girl, like, had some kind of attitude anyway. So, but anyways, none of my business. Is that a man? I swear her hairline is worse than most middle-aged men and her voice is deeper than mine. No wonder why they kicked her out. I'm starting to like Planet Fitness more and more as of late. To be honest, also, what's up with people wearing slippers and Crocs at the gym? Do they want to slip and get deleted or crippled? I begin to pass out. Then my head hit the wall. Boom! Okay, so I just got back from the gym and this was today's gym fit. I thought it was cute to match the pastel blue, uh, obviously all gym shark. And if you can't tell, it was a leg day today, but I made one mistake with my outfit and that was wearing a regular schmegular pair of seamless underwear. As you can tell right now, no camel toes, we're doing okay, but I was doing a lot of movement at the gym. Like I mentioned, it was a lower body day or leg day. So me, I go to like do a squat or something and then boom, camel toe. Like the underwear and the shorts are just riding up. How about stop wearing skin tight clothing for workouts so you don't have to worry about the 3D outline of your snatch being shown to everyone? What happened to wearing gym shorts or sweatpants? Like she just said, her gym wear is a fashion statement. Of course, her ass has to look good for the gym chads who will smash and dash. <laughs> This one's gonna hurt, but you have to accept it. You came into their life to show them the meaning of true love, but they came into your life to show you the meaning of self-love. And this is just to show, no matter how much the gym thought thinks she's a baddie or all that, at the end of the day, she's Chad or Tyrone's leftovers, used up, a secondhand female. Eventually, no amount of gymming is going to save her from being single for the rest of her life. The gym just makes her better looking than most broken women, and will delay the inevitable of her becoming a cat lady who is addicted to the evening glass of wine. This is the MGTOW reality. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, Hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.